It's really, really cool. I said to you before, I got this giant banyan tree. It hangs over my yard and two of my neighbors. Let's just say that they're not real happy about it because that thing has so many leaves. And the one thing I hate to do more than anything else is rake leaves. I just don't like it. This has a built-in vacuum that will suck up small debris and leaves and it'll mulch them in the bag. It'll suck up sawdust, anything that's in your garage and mulches it down into a compostable size so you can put it uh, and create your own really, really good top grade soil. Disconnect it easily and then just dump it out. You can throw it, I mean, you can throw it in your recycle, but I would put it out on my plants, cuts it down to practically nothing. It's on sale. It was $129.95. This is the last of the quantity. My producer, Kyle, just said, Kyle, what'd you say? I had 600 remaining. Really? I have 325 available. 781-485, Peter Kilcullen. My, or Bobby, you're not. Why, you came out too early. I thought you were doing that. It's Bobby. It's my bad. Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> Peter's standing over here, and I was like, is that? Bobby's going to show you. Go ahead. Hey, we, but we can't, 300 left. It, Go ahead, Bobby. Hey, listen, tell Tell Peter, we can't all be as cool as Peter, but I, I try my best. But yes, it's me, Bobby, still here with Aqua Joe, Snow Joe, Sun Joe. Right now, we got our mulcher on board. This thing is pretty sweet because it's a vacuum and a mulcher. It's like a two-in-one. So, you know, inside, if you've got rugs, I mean, you vacuum it. You use a vacuum. Well, what do you do when you're outside? You can also vacuum, and yeah, you could get a blower, but uh, do you have a blower, or do you want to deal with blowing back or all that stuff? You could just vacuum it up. It's powered by... Electric, so you just plug it in. Look at this. I'll just do one pass. Can you see that guy? Just that quick. So wow. I'm backing up this dirt, this debris. Let's go over here to some leaves, because that's what this is great at. Look at that. So, guys, you see all the leaves that it picked up? So a couple things are going on here. Number one, it's sucking it up. It's vacuuming up. You've got a 13 amp motor. It's sucking it up at 40 miles an hour, okay? It all goes into this bag. We give you the collection bag. It's easy on, easy off. It's 10.5 gallons. But the great thing about this is that it mulches it. How much? 16 to one ratio. So guy, you know these big black trash bags we're all familiar with. Yeah. Imagine if you had 16 bags of leaves lined up. This is going to condense all of that down into one bag. Imagine 16 of these down to one. Matter of fact, I'll open the bag for you right here and show you how fine. Let me show you how this, look at this. Look how fine that is. So my camera guy can come in close on that pile that I'm just showing you from the bag. That's how fine it is. So now, you know what this is, guy? This is the most inexpensive mulch that you've ever, never had to buy. Yeah, and I'll tell you, you don't have to, you don't have to buy anything else. It's all included. Now it is electric because it's got, it needs full power. Whenever you have an impeller inside, you really want that full power. So you're never gonna have to charge any batteries with this thing. And you're, it's gonna hold up to 10 gallons. So if you've got areas of your yard and it could be out on the grass where you've just got piles and piles of leaves or debris, take it out there. It's on sale today, which is $40 off the price, down to $84.95. It does qualify for free shipping and handling. Bobby, I like it as a shop vac. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I mean, again, the bottom opening, I don't know how many inches is. It's not overly huge, so don't get me wrong. You're not getting this big, wide area, but you're getting big enough to get the job done. If you've got some grass clippings and you don't want to just blow them right back on your grass, just suck them up. That's it. It's that simple. All I'm doing to use it is a little uh, push button right here. So I push it in like the safety, engage the trigger. You've got a handle that it's nice when you're done with it. You can kind of fold the handle up to put it away. When you get it home, you pop on the wheels. What's also neat about this two guy is that the wheel have two different adjustment levels. So if you want to move higher or lower, um, you might have the exact specs. I think it's 1.4 inch to 2.1 or so, basically one and a half to two and a half, give or take inches of leeway. So it gives you a different distance as far as if you want it to be closer to the ground, you want to have more suction power, put it all the way to the ground. And then again, this is detachable. So kind of an ingenious design, grass clippings, leaves, sawdust. You know what, let me take it over here, even on the grass, I'm gonna put it right over here. Ask my camera guy to stay with me. Do you see the leaves behind this? 
Look at this. You can even do it in the grass. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, just get it in the Dude, grass. That is awesome. Yeah, pretty cool, right, guys? Yeah, and no raking. And listen, I, yeah. I told you the story. My dad, you know, we used to have this thing called the, the dreaded mulch pile. My father would throw everything in there. But I'll tell you, he had the best garden, the best tomatoes. He grew everything out in this garden that he had. And he always said, it's the mulch. When you do your own mulch, it's so much better than buying bags of mulch. You got to do it yourself. This is going to create an incredible, nice, super fine mulch, right? Put it out, get maybe a corner of your property that you're not using. Take all the leaves and debris. Remember what Bobby said. What normally, I mean, you're going to, you're going to, it's going to be a fraction of the amount of weight and the amount of space it takes up once you mulch it down. And the bag and the machine does all the work, right? It's not heavy. It's got four wheels, not two. So you, you, it, it doesn't, you know, it sits up, stands up on its own. All you'll need is an extension cord. It'll work inside your garage. So maybe you've got, you know, maybe you're, you're working in the garage, cutting wood, whatever, you got sawdust, you got all kinds of crud in there. Hey, that can all go out in the mulch pile, okay? Easy to disconnect the bag and just dump it wherever you want. You could even just use it for decorative mulch, right? If you want to use it for that. All right, I had what, I had 300, and, I don't know what it was, 350. Kyle, my producer says, I've got 250 remaining. If you want to get it, put our left counter right down there. So it just makes good sense. I don't know about you, but listen, I love the leaves when they're on the tree, but they're kind of a nightmare when they fall. And this is mainly for leaves, small debris, Remember, there's an electric impeller inside there. What that does is it chops everything up as it goes inside the bag, and then you just right. got to dump it out. Bobby, we got less than three minutes. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, again, it's kind of like switching your, your mindset of your frame. Like, all the time we go outside, we think about, oh, blow it off, blow it off. But then where does it go? Does it go in your neighbor's yard? Does it go in cars passing the street? I mean, sometimes it's just easier to suction up. How do you do that? With an outdoor vacuum, a.k.a. a vacuum mulcher. That's what this is. So even something as fine as sand, you might not be able to, to see that. Or the dirt. Maybe that's some heat moss. Again, all you need is an extension cord. You got a safety trigger right here, four wheels on it. Again, what this is really great for is those little piles of leaves. Because it's doing two things. It's, it's suctioning them up, okay? 40 mile an hour suction into that impeller that's spinning super fast. I think it's like over 12,000 RPMs. Then it gets all condensed and mulched down into this bag. And what comes out of it is this fine. To me, I mean, what I think I should do next time, guys, fill up 16 of these trash bags with leaves <laughs> so you can visually just see, like, wow, that is what you would have bagged leave-wise. Now you're down to just one bag of leaves. I mean, 16 to 1, that's huge. You're saving yourself time. You're saving yourself money. Yeah. And if you want to use, reuse this mulch, you're saving even more money. I've seen that around here in Florida. I've seen, like, people stacking up bags and bags of leaves out there for the garbage man. And I'm like, not only are you wasting plastic, right? All those bags, so, so all those bags could be down to one bag. And if you could do it down to one bag, use it in your yard. I mean, that's free, great material for growing plants, free, great decorative material that you can use to create, you know, great looks, it could produce soil. It doesn't take that long with mulch, right? Once it gets wet, starts to decompose, this is the machine. I'll show it to you sideways. You see you got the impeller is built in here. Suction comes through, pulls everything into the bag, and then all you got to do is dump that bag. 10 gallons in a bag. Kyle, how many we got left? A couple hundred? Okay. Bobby, I got about a minute left. Would you give me a once over? Show me it on the grass again. I really like that. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Again, you can. Are you guys on me over here? We got you. So, yep. So there you go. You got a couple passes. So you got all the leaves off of your grass. You didn't have to rake. You didn't have to bag them. You just now saved yourself two steps, right? Think about that. You didn't rake. You didn't bag them. The electric vacuum and mulcher did it for you. The dirt down here is very easy to get. I mean, look at that path to clean. You can see the how wide it gets. See that? You can see it's great. Again, when you get it home, you, it comes in a box smaller because this handle folds down. You pop on both of the wheels. It's great for the leaves, too. Look at that guy. Amazing. 
And then that's it. You get stuff that's this fine, this broken down, 16 to 1. And again, the bag just comes off like that, guy. And then you could dump this bag. You've got zippers, and it attaches right here. And just to show you, that's that impeller down there inside. If you want to get a quick last shot of that, that's yeah. what it looks like down under the hood. Don't so put your speak. hand so in there, Bobby. Power. Don't don't put your hand no, in there. No, no. No, don't do it. Power, this, All right. This is a no-brainer guy. You got to get one of these. I got a, I got over 100 people online. I only got 189 left. So we're going to move on. Bobby, great job, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks, guy. All right, pal. Hey, coming up in just a bit. Have you guys seen this? We, uh, we 